Hey guys, welcome back to Mommy Loves to Read. I'm Olivia and thank you for joining me today for this video. So today I am here, I'm going to do the booktube newbie tag because I just started this channel and I'm new. That way you guys can get to learn a little bit about me and a little bit of what to expect from my channel. So before I begin, one, I have my questions written down in this notebook. So if you see me looking down, it's because I wrote the questions down. Um, the second thing also is my husband and my children are here. I'm upstairs and they're downstairs. So if you hear any screaming or yelling, my kids are perfectly fine. They're just playing. They're just really loud. And yes, yeah, so let's get into this tag and here we go. And there's about 10 questions. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm a little long winded when I talk, so we will see. So let's hop into it. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? So the reason I decided to start this channel is first, I didn't even know anything like booktube existed. I was kind of, I saw an article on Huffington Post and that is how I even found out about booktube. So once I found out about it, it was like jumping down a rabbit hole. I was like, oh, I have to watch all these videos. So the reason that I started my channel is because I noticed when I was watching like everyone's videos, not too many people that I saw had any like recommendations for like kids books or anything like that and I'm a mom and so I love to read and I want to instill that love of reading into my kids and I thought what better way to share that with other people on YouTube who might have kids or have kids in their life who they want to instill a love for reading with their kids so that is why I just decided to start my channel just to not only share what I'm reading but also what I'm reading with my kids throughout the weeks and throughout the month so that was my inspiration and then also just to have a little bit more diversity I think you hear that answer a lot but that's really what it is too I think it's really important when you click on something to find people that look like you and so that's another big reason why I just started to decided to start my channel it's because I just wanted to see some more people who look like me who love to read also so uh, the second question is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to YouTube okay so that's probably kind of goes hand in hand with question one some of the fun and unique things I can bring is I think a perspective from a parent like I said I have three kids and they love to read and so I think I can bring that perspective into things like kids books what they're reading and just also like who I am as a person I don't really have a particular genre that I like to read I kind of read just a little bit of everything it kind of just goes by how I'm feeling that day or that week and so I think I can just bring me and me being me I'm unique because there's no one else like me so I think that's what I can bring to YouTube that's unique and then question number three what are you most excited for about this new channel I'm most excited to one share with you guys what I'm reading and to be able to interact with other people who also like to read and see like what they think and what they feel about books and also I'm excited to get some new recommendations about books from this channel maybe from talking to people in the comment section and things like that and maybe also connecting with other people who love to read also number four why do you love reading oh man this is gonna be like a long one so I love reading because it's fun, it's entertaining. I feel like reading can, if you're having a bad day, it can lift your spirits. Reading can be helpful. You know, when you read, you learn new things. You can be informed about new things. Reading is helpful. I just, I love reading because I do. <laughs> reading is just something that brings me joy. And so it sparks joy within me. And so that is why I love to read. It says, what book series got you into reading? Hey, this was a hard one. I was writing down the questions, like I was reading through them and I was like, hmm, I don't know what book series. I haven't really read many book series in my life, but the one that I can um, go back and think to, if this is even considered a series, they were called Dear America books. I don't know if anyone ever read those when they were little, but um, they were Dear America books and they were about different American girls. And they had one about like Addie and Felicity and... I don't remember all the characters names I'll try to insert a picture if I can find one but I pretty much started reading those books and those books were really cool because they were written in diary form so it was as if like when you were reading it the girls were writing entries into their diaries and the books were actually like um 
how do I say it? The books were actually set up like a diary. So when, you know, it looked like a diary, the actual book that you were reading too. So I thought that was really cool. So that was kind of the series that got me into reading. And I used to read those all the time. I remember when we would go to the library, I would always get like two or three of them and I would have to read them, read them. And one thing that I liked about them, it went through like the years. So like they had one about Addie and she was actually, um, a girl who was born as a slave and her and her mom escaped and they moved to I'm not really sure I think it was like New York somewhere in the north it's been a while since I read them but it was really cool because I remember when you read the books like it started off from when she was born all the way up it wasn't just like oh you read this book and then like you don't know anything else about the character it kept going and each character was like that and they had them from different um different time periods so there was girls from like the 60s girls from the 50s from the 40s and they actually still make those books so if anyone has like a daughter I would say a daughter would probably like it more you can still find those dear America books and they're actually like really good they're really fun to read and they're also like you learn things they're like um they have a lot of historical things in them so those are the books that got me into reading okay question number six what question would you ask your favorite booktuber um I think I would just ask them for recommendations on books probably like what books would they recommend that you should just read and I think that that's that's what I would ask them I love learning about new books so I think that would be what I would want to know okay what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome hmm I don't know what challenges would be the hardest to overcome I guess for me it's finding time one to make videos and then also hmm I guess just putting content out there like I said I am someone who likes to read but I do have three kids and they are little my kids are all four and under and so I think for me the challenge would just be um finding time to make videos about the books that I'm reading because I do read a lot but I don't always have the time to maybe sit down and make a video about what I'm reading or you know my wrap-ups and things like that so I think that would be the most challenging for me um yeah so number eight when did you start reading okay this one was a hard one for me too because I don't remember when I started reading I feel like I've always read um so yeah I don't think I can really answer that question I remember when I was younger though I used to watch reading rainbow if anyone used to watch that show let me know down below in the comments but I used to watch the um reading rainbow with LeVar Burton like every day on channel eight and I, I'm gonna assume that is when I started reading, when I when I started watching that show because, you know, they would always do a book and then I would go to the library and try to find those books. So I'm gonna say that is when I started reading, but I don't actually have like an age. So I feel like I was maybe like eight, seven or eight when I started watching Reading Rainbow. I don't really know. So yes, where do you read? Okay, number nine is where do you read? Um, I read a little bit of everywhere. So just kind of wherever I am, mostly in my house. But I also take my book with me when I go places. Like if I know we're going to be out for a while, then I'll take my book. Because sometimes, you know, like if I get to where I'm going a little early and maybe the person I'm not meeting is there, then I'll read in my car. Um, I take my book on me. I take my books with me. Sorry. When we go on vacation, you know, to read on plane rides. So I just kind of read wherever I am. Wherever I am, that is where I'm reading. And then what kind of books do you like to read? Because this one was like kind of hard for me too. I don't really have a specific genre that I like to read or a specific type of book I like to read. I kind of like to read whatever I feel like reading in the moment. Okay guys, so I was about to, I was editing my video and I noticed that it cut me off on the last question. So as I was saying, when it comes to reading books, I kind of just read what I'm in the mood for at the moment. However I'm feeling, that dictates to me the type of book that I'm going to read. So I don't really have like a preference or one particular style of book that I do like to read. So that is the last question. That is the end of the tag. Thank you for joining me today. If you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought. And thank you for watching today. Bye.